Pickett's quarterback rating 7-5 in the first three quarters. Is there something that's particularly not happening for him? What, what is his rating in the fourth quarter? 108. Well, just ask it from that perspective. He's awesome in the fourth quarter, man. He rises up in those moments. You make the decision to move him down to the side. That's irrelevant. What other things would you like to turn over that you mentioned? Why would I mention them? You know? Um, boy, you guys really, you guys are funny sometimes, man. There's a, there's a strategic advantage to, to holding your cards close to your vest, and I, I, I generally like to exercise that. Mike Tomlin, coach of the 5-3 and three Steelers, a little salty on Tuesday as he met with reporters on a wide variety of topics. We'll delve into one of them more specifically later in the program. But, look, we've seen this from him from time to time. Combative, feisty, giving him the business a little bit. Not quite the Bill Belichick approach. Just every once in a while, a manifestation probably of what he's thinking, Chris, and he may be thinking what you're thinking. I can somehow get this team to the playoffs. But once we get there, it's not going to be pretty, which may be the theme for the night. Uh, the night uh, no, what de- what century, what millennium is it? 2023 Pittsburgh Steelers. No, I, I mean, first off, Mike Tomlin, you know, knowing him, being around him for, you know, a period of time, watching him all these years, the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. He doesn't, he doesn't want to hear that crap anyways. He just doesn't want to hear it. You know, he's all about focus, get better. You know, oh, this isn't working. That isn't working. Well, let's, let's work on getting it better. How are we going to fix and remedy the situation? You know, so that, that's where, you know, I appreciate Mike Tomlin is the no nonsense BS. He doesn't want to hear complaining from players or pick it. You know, his, his big thing is win the football game. We got things to worry about as far as it pertains to that. And that's where he's awesome. But yeah, I mean, are they going to be able to make a playoff run with the current status of their offense? Like you're talking about? Absolutely not. They're not. It's going to be too tough. They might get there, but to win a game or multiple games, I got to see that to believe it in the playoffs. And look, could they keep it ugly? Keep it close? Could somehow some way to get one game? Yeah, it, it's, yeah, this is a sure. far cry from yeah. like the 2005 Steelers that just barely got into the playoffs by the skin of their teeth. They were playing better once they woke up. I remember that year they lost to the Bengals in Cincinnati or possibly in Pittsburgh. Whatever it was, it was a changing of the guard moment. The Bengals were taking over. Everyone was surprised. The Steelers were left for dead. There was a game. Yeah, there was a game where they beat the Bears and it was snowing. And that was the spark. And they improved. And by the time they got in, they were ready to make their run. They were a different team than the team that had lost all the games earlier in the year. This is just different. This is who they are. They're, unless they somehow dramatically improve, the offense dramatically improves. Kenny Pickett dramatically improves in whatever quarter we're talking about. They get more out of the run game. Unless the offense finds a higher level of performance, that keep it close and, and win ugly – isn't going to get you from the wild card round to the divisional round to the conference championship round to the Super Bowl. No, that, that's right. That, that that's that's what we're talking about, and that's where like I love the Steelers. Right, have the ultimate respect. I picked them to go to the playoffs before the year. I'd love to be right and all of that, but at the same time, as you've heard me say before. I'm skeptical about wanting them in the playoffs because I'm not sure it's going to lead to the most exciting playoff format, and that's what I always root for. I root for the teams that I think are going to make it the best and the best, you know, the best seven teams get in. And, you know, I know sometimes the record might say, oh, this team's better. But in actuality, I'm like, OK, their record's better. They got a little lucky ball bounce this way, that way. A few injuries. They played a team that had a bunch of injuries and now they're in the playoffs. And now we're watching a 37 to four, a 37 to three football game in the wild card round. And that's what I'm, I'm a little worried about with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.